All right, what's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Today I've got another tutorial for you guys. I will be showing you how to make an intro using Sony Vegas. Now I also have done two other intro tutorials, but honestly guys, I think this is the easiest and it's the fastest method uh, and I would definitely choose it over the other two. Now if you do want to check those other two out though, I will leave that in the description. And uh, also guys, if this does help you out, be sure to leave a like. Let's go for 150 likes on this tutorial. Also, if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe for future tutorials and future content from me. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go into your browser and type in Sony Vegas 2D intro template into YouTube. And that will load up a ton of templates, a ton of videos with different templates for Sony Vegas. Um, some of them will be Adobe After Effects, so just be sure to find, I guess, Sony Vegas ones. Um, so you have a large quantity uh, to pick from. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one. And so basically, you would click on the video go into the description and then click on the download button and uh, for this one it'll be right here and I guess you can also download this for After Effects this intro at least and so I'm just gonna go ahead and download it for Sony Vegas and basically that will take you to this page right here you have to I think wait 30 seconds for the link to appear the download link and once that appears you will go ahead and click on download and that will take you to this media fire um, link and so just click on the green button don't click on anything else just the green button that's all you have to click on that will start downloading and I'll see you guys when it's finished so once you finish downloading that basically all you have to do is open up the Sony Vegas profile and after you do that uh, basically for most of the templates all you really have to do is change the font so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you how to do that. Basically, there are three layers right here. And the only layer that you have to click on is the, um, is the, uh, the text, I guess. Um, so you would right click and go to edit generated media. And we'll make this bigger. Um, okay, here it is. So you're going to want to change it to your YouTube name, like for me. Mine is the Havoc, so I would switch it to that. Now that is what you would do for for most of the templates. In this case, for some reason, the media is offline, so the clip and the sound is, isn't working right now. So what you would need to do is drag these two files onto your desktop because if you don't do that, it, it won't let you, you know, put it in there into the file for some reason. So you have to drag them onto the desktop and then you can drag them on. So that will be the sound, this will be the clip, and click yes, I guess. Um, and then so just go ahead and delete that, put this in, and then put the sound in right there, I'm guessing. It, yeah, it's right here, I, I think. And then go ahead and delete that. And let's see if this works. Looks pretty good to me, I guess. So there. And then you can also shorten this up so that it times up with the um, the text. And that's basically it. That's really all you have to do. For most of the templates, you you really only have to put in the, uh, the text, change of the text. But for this one, I also had to put in the different files as well because they weren't working as well uh, for some reason. So after you do that though, to actually get it into a video format, I guess, to put it in the beginning of your videos, basically what you would do is click on File, Render As, and then you would render it as an MP4 and a Internet HD 1080. And then you would probably go ahead and type in Intro, um, and then go ahead and Render. So it shouldn't take too long just because it's it's a very short range, you know, of, of time. Um, so once this is finished, I will talk to you guys. All right, so once you render that, basically 
um, it should save it onto your desktop and here it is right here so basically in any of your videos I just want to go ahead and tell you guys how to put it in any of your videos basically you would just drag it on to here and then let's say you do a commentary afterwards you just drag it and put it at the beginning of your commentary or your gameplay and that's basically it so this is the finished product it looks I think it looks pretty cool um, definitely the animations and the text look pretty dang cool so i hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial if you did be sure to drop a like if it helped you out uh, it'd be much appreciated go ahead and click the subscribe button as well if you aren't subscribed already because i will have plenty more tutorials to help you guys out with your youtube channel and such and if you guys want to go check out my other tutorials i will go ahead and put a link in the description to you know the full playlist of tutorials uh, for you guys to go check out but uh, other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Havoc here, and I am out. Peace.